What is up, my Squirtalites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Horizon Zero Dawn. In the last episode, we did, well, exactly what we're going to be doing in this episode, and that is going to be continuing our hunt for vantage points, metal flowers, ancient vessels, and Banuk figurines. Nearest one is a metal flower that is up here on this plateau. Now, getting to it is going to be the fun part, because... There's two ways I can do it, but honestly, this is going to be the quicker way, which is going to be basically beelining to it, although it's not really the intended way, I suppose. There's a little path around. Um, I'm just going to just walk over here and get in this thing real quick. You just, if I have to, I'll just tie you down and leave you. Yeah, that's right. You turn around. Um, anyway, um, so... Yeah, around the other side of this, there's a path that leads up there, which is not... I mean, it's it's a way to get up there, I suppose, but um, it's not the main path that we took to get up there last time, because that is the exact same plateau, I believe, where we... Uh, that we made it to when we were trying to find out the whereabouts of Aaron's sister. So, we're going to have to go through quite a few machines to get there on this one, which is fine. Um... But I believe at this point, and I actually might be an episode off, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe Horizon Zero Dawn is... You just stay. Um, I believe Horizon Zero Dawn is our only current Gen LP um, at this moment in time now. Fallout 4 is taking a break. I'm not doing... Well, Skyrim isn't even current Gen, but Fallout 4 is taking a break. And I'm not really going back to uh, current Gen stuff for a little while aside from... Well, I hope to do the Shadow of the Colossus remake when it comes out, but aside from that, it's just going to be this game this year. Um, it's mostly going to be uh, older games, which I'm totally okay with. I'm totally fine. Although, we still have a ways to go with Horizon. Like, boy do we. Boy do we. Um, <laughs> there's uh, still the entire Frozen Wilds expansion that I'm completely blind to and have no idea cl uh, clue how that's going to work or how I'm supposed to do it. Not to mention, I believe, the other quests that the Frozen Wilds expansion adds that are not actually part of the Frozen Wilds itself, I think? Um, that's what I'm gathering anyway, because looking at the map real quick, you see like these new quests over here in the blue? These are all Frozen Wilds based, but I don't think they actually take us to that area of the Frozen Wilds. I think they're just added quests part of the main game that just were brought in with the DLC. I believe so. Don't quote me on that again. But, um, I believe at this time, yeah, we are not really too concerned with anything else. So, this is going to be a little bit fun, how I'm going to handle this. Um, there are a lot of scrappers and glint hawks up here, but I'm going to try to just make a frickin' beeline over here. There's a long leg? Now that I wasn't expecting. So, never mind. No scrappers, just long legs. There's usually scrappers up here. Did not expect that. Um, okay, well, these things can detect me. So I'm going to have to do this. One and two. Oh, no, you fell. Here's another hit. Oh, no, no. Hold on. Ah! There we go. Wait, hold on. One more. One more. Boom, baby. Okay, there we go. We got one of them. Just a second. Okay, the other one freaking blindsided me. No, come here. You can fall off the cliff now. Don't do it. Woo! Okay, there we go. And, oh, man, I love this game. I freaking love this game. Get out of here. Anyway, speaking of I love this game, I'm thinking as soon as I finish this Let's Play, I'm going to do another freaking playthrough of this game on, like, the hardest possible difficulty because, man, this game has just been so fun to play through and I want to do it again. I have... Played this on hard, and it's really fun, um, but I haven't played this on the hardest difficulty, uh, which I've, I mean, I've heard that it's still totally manageable, but it is incredibly difficult, and you have to be very careful about managing your resources, which I think I can do. I think I can do, especially with the way that this gameplay is structured. Um, I would rather do it with this game than I would with... Um, well, for instance, Dark Souls. Um, those just games. Those games are just not my cup of tea as much as this one is. The gameplay doesn't really appeal to me in quite the same way. So, uh, and and I know that I like in this game. I like make a lot, a lot of mistakes, and I'm only playing on normal difficulty right now, which is really not all that bad. But um, it's because I've been. The reason I wanted to play this on normal difficulty for this let's play is because well, one time. If I was trying to take my time with everything, can you imagine how many episodes this would be? I mean, it's already been a super long Let's Play. Um, 
and there's still so much more left to do. Now imagine if that this exact same let's play and then I had to slow everything down by a crap ton and take my time and strategically plan everything out when I did it while trying to get the exact same amount of content done for this let's play. This would be like a 150 parter and I just I don't want to do that. I there's no way I want to do that. So on my own time, yes. But for this let's play, no, I'd rather be able to just kind of book through things and complete them as quickly as possible. Again, not because I don't think I can handle the hard difficulty. I'm sure I'll die a bunch. I just, for the sake of the pacing in this Let's Play, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> Maybe someday if I can, you know, get good at other harder games, I will I will pull it off. But um, as far as this game's concerned, I just, like I said, I didn't want to do a 150-parter. A okay, this Snap Maw is an awful spot because he is right in the way of where I want to swim. So... Okay, because we want to get to that vantage point, and it's actually up on that rock over there, not that far one. So, let's see if I can avoid him. Yeah, okay, he's swimming the other way, which so we might be good. Um, and yeah, let's just hurry on over there. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. So yeah, you can see the little purple icon right up there at the top, so you know it's there. Not to mention, you can also see where I'm supposed to climb. Um, but yeah. I think it's going to be fun doing a hard mode playthrough of this game, or super hard mode playthrough of this game at a later point, and trying to deal with rock breakers, uh, corrupted rock breakers no less, at that point, golly, that's going to be a blast. I am so excited. Although, I highly recommend to everybody that buys this game, just play it on hard. Don't play it on normal. Um, this game is a little too forgiving on normal, I think. Um... I wouldn't recommend the hardest difficulty either, especially for the Frozen Wilds, because the Frozen Wilds is, as far as I've heard, very difficult in its own right, but yeah. Um, anyway, this part's actually pretty cool, because I know this place. Personally. Day 11. I came out here to die. But instead of overdosing at Wyatt's Cottage, I went out walking along the water. I was standing right here when the idea hit me. And the moment it did... I knew I had to do it. Now, I don't believe this is the last vantage cache, so I don't think that he, like, killed himself or anything there, but uh, we can go down here and actually take a look for a second. But I actually know this place because, well, I mean, this is in the state that I live in. Um, yeah, I've been to Lake Powell maybe once in my life, and I never actually got to, like, enjoy it. I mean, Lake Powell is a place for, like, swimming and you know, in mostly water sports and stuff like that, like water skiing. I'm not seeing a skeleton down here, so I don't think... Yeah, I don't think he, like, jumped or anything. Um, or, like, it's even implied that, but... Um, anyway, um, yeah, this is, like, a huge place for, like, water sports, and a lot of people get, like, houseboats out on, these, on this lake and stuff like that. I mean, this is what it's like. This is very similar to what it's like. Um, there are spots where it's more open. Obviously, there's not architecture along it, but... Yeah, this is uh, very similar to what it's like. It's kind of weaves in and out of a canyon, and there's a lot of rock, for really cool rock formations and things like that. So, this is pretty a pretty accurate depiction of what Lake Powell looks like, and it is a very pretty place. A lot more people swear by it than I would, but I mean, it's a very popular tourist destination. So, hey, it's got that going. The problem is, is, every single time I've ever been to it. Um, the water level's been, like, really low. Like, Lake Powell has, like, lots of issues with its water level. Like, they have to constantly drain it because it just isn't getting enough flow in from, I believe, the Colorado River? I don't know. Weird weird facts that I know. But every time I go, there's, like, like places like this, I kid you not, it's, like, five feet deep. Like, you cannot go water skiing in five feet deep water. So, <laughs> it just kind of kills. It just kind of killed everything whenever I would go. Um, although, I believe these days it's a lot better. So, anyway... Um, with that, I don't think I'm going to walk, actually. In fact, I believe there's a campfire, like, right next to this one, so we're just going to fast travel there. Wait, what the? Okay, well, it's a good thing I don't have to blend in right here because I'm not technically in the city, but anyways. So the Banuk figurine is right over there here, and I believe... How do we get up this one? I believe this is the fifth one that we need, and then there's one more to get after that. Uh, yeah, we're almost done with the collectibles, so that's pretty cool. There's a lot. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Here's the thing. So this one's a little bit treacherous to get to, but we're going to do it regardless. 
Um, they're like the only Banook figurine that's not on a snow-capped peak, I believe. Because, um, well, the Banooks sure do love their ice and snow. And uh, this one is not there. Oh, no, I gotta go across again. There we go. We're good. Now, there are other places I could have started from, but whatever. I'll, I'll take it. Okay, right there. No, 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 no. There. Thank you. Up we go. And jump! Oh, all right, perfect. Doing good, doing good. And then from here, we just gotta go across this tightrope, which is a heck of a long tightrope. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Aloy, do not fall. Except for I do want you to pause for a second because I wanna see this. And there's the tall neck. Wow, that is so cool looking. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But yeah, let's uh, let's keep going. And there is our repelling spot. So the Manuk figure must be right by it. There it is. And jump. Do not fall. Give me that. And thank you. So next one for us to go to is this vantage point over here. So I'll just fast travel to this campfire. Okay. So right up there, really close. How I'm going to get to it, though, I actually have no clue. So I'm just going to start walking up this mountain. <laughs> um, if I can manage that. I don't actually know which parts I can scale. So let's see. Do, 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 do. Looking around, looking around, not seeing anything of note just yet. Little things I can kind of jump up Skyrim style. Here we go. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Look at this. Look at this. This is not how you're supposed to do it at all, but I did it anyway. Wait. Vantage point. There it is. Right there. Okay, hold on. I just got to kill these things. So real fast. You guys are in my way. So you need to die. Pardon me. You're in a really bad spot, by the way. You know that? Nope. Goodbye. All right, let's do this thing. Supply crate. Oh, wait a minute. What is this going to look like in the vantage point, I wonder? Day 12. As we watch the booster arc up into the night sky, riding a pillar of flame, you took my hand, squeezed it, and said, you have written the story of our family across the stars. Wow, so that's what that was. Like, I can't even explain what we just saw in the vision, but whatever it was, that's what it was. Okay, that was certainly something. We're going to walk to this metal flower now, because it honestly isn't that far away. Um, oh, it seems to be up high, though. Like, really high. Okay, uh, we'll find a way to it somehow. I'm going to start scaling my way down here really quickly. Easy, Aloy. Easy, Aloy. There we go. Yeah, this isn't so bad. There we go. Just follow this. Perfect. Okay. There we go. All right. Awesome. So now let's go across this direction and head over to the metal flower. Um, yeah, I don't know if that was the last one. Day 12? I actually think that might have been or was supposed to be. So who knows? Anyway, let's see. How in the world am I supposed to get to this one? Very good question. How do I get up to these things? Here, let's take a look at the map real fast. Wait a minute. That's a path, isn't it? I believe that's a path. Hold on, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's work our way down. Is this a path? This is a path. Okay, perfect. We'll follow this. Yeah, this is probably how I'm going to pull it off somehow. But I do have to deal with these assholes, which is fine. Okay, well, luckily, thanks to my fire coil, I can drop you in one fire arrow now. Which is alright with me. So let's keep moving, let's keep moving. I'm gonna keep following this path. Alright, just a second. Okay, nope, I'm gonna drop you again. Let's let's just keep dropping all of you. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa I do not want to roll down the mountain, please. Oop! Oh wait, there's oh, there's a climbing spot. Uh this is bad. This is very awkward. Okay, you're dead. Oh my gosh, I'm taking damage. Hold on. Where are you all at? Okay, I got one dead. I need to fight from this position and this position only. 
Bad shot. There we go. That was better. Whoa, don't roll too far. There we go. Got another one. I see you. There's three. Hit you again. No, no, no. Come here. There we go. There's another one. Dodge that. Wait for your fire to run out. Oh, come on. Hit you again. Don't you dare. Ow, 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 ow. Are you going to burn to death? You didn't. Now you will. Just die. Just die. Just die. Thank you. Okay, there's another one. And then you again. Ugh. Don't do it. That's right. Okay, I think that, that one's going to burn out. You're twitching. And there's just this guy. Which I can probably just scale my way up to. Uh, sir, you're dead. So now we need to find our metal flower, which is up at about this height. And it is sitting right next to this Clinton Hawk. Excellent. There we go. That's 27 of 30. And all that leaves us now is this vantage point, that ancient vessel above, this Banuk figure, this metal flower, and that vantage point, and that metal flower. Wait a minute. That's only 29, though. I'm missing more, aren't I? Hold on. Where? I'm missing. I'm missing a metal flower, I believe. Hold on. Well, let's worry about this vantage point and this ancient vessel first thing. Um, those are right next to each other. So let's fast travel over here. Okay. So, ancient vessel. I should have grabbed this when I was doing my, uh, the quest that was up here, and I forgot to do that. I believe it's in this building. Um, so this one is our last ancient vessel, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if any more enemies spawn here, here, but I'm not... I don't think they do. I think I think we're good on enemies. So actually, no, it's in this building, um, which is fine. I believe, I believe when you scale down to the very bottom of the tall skyscraper or something like that, you're supposed to be able to find it then or something like that. I don't remember. It's like, there's like an in intended point you're supposed to pick it up, and I think I fast traveled out of it like a genius. Um, so yeah, uh, if you are getting to this quest, uh, don't forget to grab this vessel. Um, how in the world do I get to you? I, th I believe you're in the here, actually. Let's walk in here. There's a crate. Let's work our way up here. And then instead of going to the left, we're going to head over to the right. And there is some debris. Just over here. It's right on the mark, too. Wow. That just gave it right away. And there we go. The last ancient vessel has been connect uh, collected. Thunderheads. So, our other one is this vantage point over here. So I believe we want to actually head back straight to the campfire that we were just at. Which shouldn't be too hard to get to. Is there actually any supplies in here? This is interesting. I feel like I didn't explore this area near well enough when I was here. But I was very focused on the mission at hand. I mean, again, like I said before, I kind of wanted to take everything at my own pace. And well, that's exactly what I did. Um... So let's grab this vantage point, and that's, I think, going to be it for the episode. And then probably in the next episode, we'll be able to get the last of the collectibles. I believe so. Hi, rat. That was so unnecessary. <laughs> Tiny meat. There's lots of rats here. Oh, my goodness. How are, you things, how are you things not frozen? Rats can't endure the cold that well. Oh, whatever. So this is all the way up here somewhere. Is this one at the top of a tree? No. Is it that mountain peak? That seems a little far away from the marker, though. Oh. Hi there. I almost ran into you. That could have been bad. Yeah, you guys just keep walking. Don't, don't look for me. Don't look for me. Sure face. Yeah, just keep walking. Just keep walking. We won't have any problems. I could kill you. I would just rather not fight right now. Alright. They are looking, man. Okay, let's see. Where is our climbing spot at? Let's head up here. And it's a little higher up. I can get out of this. Yeah, we're not in it, Aloy. Don't worry. How much higher is it? A little bit higher. Where am I needing to climb to? 
I think this rock formation right here. Hold on. I actually almost at the level for it. I think it's this thing. I see spots I'm supposed to grab. I'm just wondering where the heck I'm supposed to climb at. Every vantage a story. Okay, there we go. That'll do. <laughs> Found it. All right, up Aloy. There you go. Almost there. And this is our last vantage point. No, it's not. We have one more. I am so full of it. A pocket shit storm tour. Day one. We're better to start than at the end. War where the end started anyway. Round zero. Where it all came crashing down. My career first. Then everything else. And I mean everything. So yeah, we just did the l that. So wow, that's what the Pharaoh building looked like. So yeah, we just did the last one before this, and that was the first one. Interesting. Alright, well, in that case, ladies and gentlemen, what better way to end this episode than with a goodbye? So ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Horizon Zero Dawn. Still a couple more things left to grab, but I'm going to be going after this Banook figurine and this Metal Flower very uh, first thing in the next episode. So thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.